to start with this. So the way I do it is just start pressing it down. Let's pull that down a bit. And the Vaseline on my hands means it isn't going to stick. Now I, I'm not going to put it on too thickly because I want to put another layer on later. The imagination goes quite wild at this point because you can make it with different coloured papers, different types of sawdust, you can add pigment to it, you can marble it and the fact that it's moved away on the top doesn't matter because we can put another little bit there to take it down. With these moulds I also want to make a base. I'm very interested in all sorts of different ceramics from all ages throughout his history and civilization, and I have a real fondness for kind of um, Roman pottery. But you probably do the same if you were working with clay. It's kind of like a pinch pot without the pinching, because I'm working on top of, of a mould bit like a cross between a coil pot, a pinch pot, just a hand-built slab pot really. And if you think it's getting a bit too thick or too thin, you can come back up. And you can stop at any stage you like. I'm just trying to make sure it's all of an even thickness. And as I'm doing that, there are areas where it has come down, which I can just take. So I'm just going to place this now on the top shelf, first of all. I might bring it down to this shelf as well when I've removed the jewellery. And this is one I... I did last night. So this is on its way to drying out, but it's not there yet. And when it's got a bit more form on it, I will take the take that off. I've got layers of paper inside on this one, because this is going to be, I don't know if it's going to be a bowl or a mold yet. Anyway, we'll see. And also, down the bottom here, just as an extra thing. I have lots of little, uh, you really can't see here. Um, these are made of silicone, epoxy, moulding paste, and I make faux turquoise and diamonds and all sorts of things in there. Okay, bye.